As you may know, Haunted Chocolatier is Concerned Ape's follow-up game to the mega-successful farming simulator, Stardew Valley. Concerned Ape, otherwise known as Eric Barone, first announced that he was developing Haunted Chocolatier two years ago on October 8th, 2021. I made a video about a year ago on my channel about everything we knew back then, but since we are now two years post-announcement, I think it's time for a bit of an update. There has been quite a few of new pictures, new information, new fan theories since my last video. And if you haven't seen my first video, be sure to check that one out. I will leave it linked in the description and also right up here. In that first video, I really focused on the official Haunted Chocolatiers blog website, but there has unfortunately been zero updates to the blog since December 25th, 2021. We do know that Concerned Ape is taking a little break from working on Haunted Chocolatier to work on the 1.6 update to Stardew Valley. And I just want to say, as a content creator who makes a lot of content about Stardew Valley, I see a lot of comments from people who are impatient or annoyed that he's taking a break from Haunted Chocolatier to work on Stardew Valley. And it's just something that I kind of wanted to touch on. While I also selfishly want him to work non-stop on Haunted Chocolatier so I can have it faster, that's honestly just not how it works. Making art takes time. And if you want to make quality quality art, you have to take breaks sometimes. You have to step away and come back with a fresh mind. Asking Concerned Ape to non-stop work on Haunted Chocolatier would do nothing but burn the man out. So please just be respectful when making comments online about what you think he should be working on. Let the man cook at his own pace. Haunted Chocolatier will be well worth the wait, I'm sure of it. Okay, tiny rant aside, let's talk about all of the new information that we know about Haunted Chocolatier two years post-announcement. Although the Haunted Chocolatier blog hasn't been updated in nearly two years, there have still been little tidbits of information from Concerned Ape mostly on his Twitter. Whether that be pictures, symbol text updates, or interviews, we're going to cover it all. On October 31st, 2022, just a few weeks after I posted my first Haunted Chocolatier video, Concerned Ape posted this gif of a silly little ghost guy doing a little dancey dance. He didn't provide any context for the gif itself so there's not much to go off of here but I do love him. Look at him go. He's doing so good. Underneath this tweet, Concerned Ape replied to a few tweets pertaining to questions about Haunted Chocolatier. One user asked, will the new game be released for Android and Apple? And Concerned Ape responded by saying, it's within the realm of possibilities, but I'd say it's very unlikely. And he said in another response asking about a mobile port for Haunted Chocolatier, saying, I'm not planning on it. Which honestly, that's fair. With the amount of trouble that came with porting Stardew Valley and all of its subsequent updates onto mobile, when the coding was out of his control, I can definitely see why he would be hesitant to confirm a mobile port for Haunted Chocolatier. Concerned Ape also responded to another tweet asking about what consoles Haunted Chocolatier will be on, saying, it's way too early for me to commit to any platforms. But in general, I'm expecting Haunted Chocolatier to have similar technical requirements to Stardew Valley, so I'm hoping to make it available on any consoles that Stardew is on, plus any new gen that comes out. No guarantees, of course. Another user under the Dancing Ghost tweet asked, Will Pristine Snow and the trailer music for Haunted Chocolatier be available on Spotify and etc? And Concerned Ape said, eventually, yeah. Pristine Snow is a song that Concerned Ape shared in a Reason Studios interview that I didn't mention in my first video, because I didn't know about it actually till just now. I knew about B-Boss, but not this one. So yeah, this song is a thing and it's beautiful. And speaking of music, recently on September 7th, 2023, Concerned Ape tweeted, here's my old Bandcamp page from 10 years ago, if anyone is interested. Some of these tracks would go on to appear on the starting Valley original soundtrack. Maybe in another decade, I'll post my other secret band camp. And under this tweet, someone asked if any of the songs featured on the site will make its way into Haunted Chocolates here. And he responded by saying, it's always a possibility if something feels right. I have way more tracks just sitting on my computer that I've never uploaded anywhere. So there's a pool of stuff I can sift through and sometimes I'll use an old one. Mostly we'll be making new tracks for Haunted Chocolates here though. So far, the only Haunted Chocolates songs that we've heard are the one featured in the announcement trailer, Pristine Snow, and the B boss fight song. Concerned Ape is a genius with his in-game music. The Stardew Valley soundtrack is an absolute masterpiece to the point where there's literally a concert tour happening of the Stardew Valley soundtrack, which I am so angry that they're not coming to Florida. I mean, I get it. But yeah, I cannot wait to hear the new music that Concerned Ape makes for Haunted Chocolates here. My only hope is that we get to hear the music more often than we do in Stardew Valley. Another image of some assorted 
Haunted Haunted Chocolate Sketches was released on March 2nd, 2023. This image is super interesting. Not only are all of the different chocolates super creative and unique looking, there are also some that look quite similar to things found in Stardew Valley. For instance, there seems to be a chocolate that looks just like a Stardew Valley star drop. Maybe star drops will make a comeback in chocolate form as an energy boost in Haunted Chocolatier, just like in Stardew Valley. There's also a chocolate that looks eerily similar to Stardew Valley's key fruit. Could Mr. Key be making a return in Haunted Chocolatier? Because Concerned Day Pass stated that Haunted Chocolatier and Stardew Valley will be loosely connected. But we'll get more into theories later on. Also, I made a TikTok when this image first dropped that I think most accurately depicts these silly little sketches. Hey, we got the accent challenge. Shout with me today. Pump us 10. Bing. I right, number one. We got Bing. Number two, we got E. Number three, we got E. Number four, we got B. Number five, we got M. Mm. Number six, we got G. Some screenshots of private DMs between Concerned Ape and some fans have been posted on the Haunted Chocolatier subreddit as well. One fan asked whether or not a Haunted Chocolatier will have a co-op feature, and Concerned Ape responded by saying, hey, it's possible, but I haven't officially committed to that feature yet. He worked this way when developing Stardew Valley 2. He finished the main features first before even considering multiplayer, which is how most small studios or solo developers work. Unless, of course, the game is meant to have multiplayer as a main function. Another fan asked if relationships, dating, and marriage will be expanded upon. And Concerned Ape said in response, Haunted Chocolatier will have relationships like Stardew Valley, and I'm hoping to do some new things with it too. And we will talk more about relationships and Haunted Chocolatier a bit later on when we get into theories. One fan asked Concerned Ape under a tweet, I crave new info about Haunted Chocolatier. Anything you can tell us, even if it's the smallest detail. And Concerned Ape simply said, the town is on the water and there are docks, which means there's a pretty good chance there will be a fishing mechanic in this game. And depending on who you are, that's either great news or terrible news. I know there's a bit of a divide on the fishing minigame in Stardew Valley, but personally, I enjoy fishing in Stardew Valley for the most part, so I do hope we get a fishing mechanic in Haunted Chocolatier as well. And another sort of half-serious tweet from Concerned Ape is a response to this tweet asking if there will be at least four ghosts in the game, where Concerned Ape confirmed that there will indeed be at least four ghosts in Haunted Chocolatier. Very shocking, I know. And these next five images are probably the biggest drops since my last Haunted Chocolatier video. Concerned Ape posted this image seemingly out of of nowhere on September 5th, 2023, of what looks to be a cutscene in Haunted Chocolatier. In this image, we can see an old man speaking to a character, which I presume is the main player. And the nameless old man states, I was just having a terrible dream. There are cobwebs, picture frames, a plethora of books scattered all over the floor, and just an overall sort of somber vibe going on. And in the comments, a fellow Stardew Valley creator, Shawnee Doo, left a comment saying, I'd like to know a little more about this fellow, with a zoomed in screenshot of a framed face on the wall. And concerned I replied, with a very ominous and compressed image of a face saying shh. Someone in the comments tried to reverse image search this strange photo and said there were no matches in the search, but the JPEG compression suggests this isn't like something you drew, unless you did it like that intentionally, in which case you're a genius. I have no idea whether or not this weird image has anything to do with Haunted Chocolatier, but it's certainly something. And almost exactly a month after Concerned Ape posted that image of the old man in the cutscene, on October 3rd, 2023, as a thank you for reaching 1 million Twitter followers, he posted four new images of Haunted Chocolatier. I have my own personal theories about these images that Concerned Ape dropped that we will of course talk more about later on. For now, just marvel at these beautiful images and put a pin in it. We'll circle back to them soon. Before we get into theories, I wanted to talk more about the facts. So let's go through a somewhat recent interview from Screen Rant by Devin McClure on December 25th, 2022, where Concerned Ape talks about a recent animated music video collaboration with the band Always. And he mentions Haunted Chocolatier a ton in the interview. I'm going to be sharing just the parts of the interview that pertain to Haunted Chocolatier and his development techniques. But I strongly encourage you to read the whole article and watch the music video that Concerned Ape created. I will leave both linked in the description to this video as well. While talking about how this music video collaboration came together in the first place, Concerned Ape says, I spent the last couple months working on this and it was pretty fun. I learned a lot of new stuff. I go all out when I do something. I was like, what if I went into 3D and the camera shifted like this? It was the first time I've ever worked with 3D before, so it was actually fun. I learned a bunch of stuff that I might be able to use in the future for game development. Concerned Ape states that he's picked up a lot of new information that he will be using going forward in future works, stating, for one thing, I never thought I would 
would make a 3D game. But after doing this video, I think I could actually make a 3D game and it would actually be pretty fun and cool. I've been doing game dev in the same way for 10 years now. I started to work on Stardew Valley in 2012. So just being able to make this video was a good way to free my mind a little bit from the almost rigid structure I had fallen into with Stardew Valley and Haunted Chocolatier. It was a good exercise for me because now I feel like when I come back to Haunted Chocolatier, I'm going to be full of new ideas. The interviewer asked Concerned Ape how Haunted Chocolatier is going in general, to which he responded, it's going well, but it's a big game and I have a big ambitious vision for it. It's a little bit daunting, the amount of work that it's going to be, but Stardew Valley took me four and a half years. I've been working on Haunted Chocolatier for about a year and a half or maybe two years now. I announced it a little bit over a year ago, but it's still going to be a while, but I think it's going good. There's a lot of good things so far. When asked if there will be an early access version of Haunted Chocolatier like Stardew Valley, Concerned Ape said, you may be misremembering. There actually wasn't an early access for Stardew Valley. I think a lot of people have that weird Berenstain Bears memory thing, but it's true that the game had a lot of updates, so it wasn't in its final form for a long time. Multiplayer wasn't in the game when it came out, so you could almost say it was like early access. I considered it to be a complete game when it came out, just with improvements over time. And it's very likely that Haunted Chocolatier will have that same structure. It kind of depends on how the rest of the development goes and where the game is at when I launch it. It depends somewhat on the player's reaction to the game. If no one plays, then maybe I'll move on to something else. But if people are really excited about the game, that gives me the energy and the inspiration to keep making updates for it. That's why I'm still attached to Stardew Valley, because there's so many people who still play it. When asked what made him want to have a bigger focus on combat in Haunted Chocolatier, he said, I think it was just what I like to play. When I was in the early stages of Haunted Chocolatier, I was playing a bunch of Diablo 2. Getting loot and seeing your numbers go up in the stats? I like that stuff. I feel like a lot of Stardew Valley players aren't into it, but I've just got to do what I think is fun. And I think that'll shine through in the game, if I'm excited about it. I was also playing Stardew Valley, and the combat there is rudimentary and kind of crude. It's very simplistic. So I thought, what if I made a game that was like the mines in Stardew Valley, but fully fleshed out and done really well? All the bells and whistles that I would like in a game that has combat, but also exploration and resource gathering. In this interview, Concerned Ape detailed how the chocolate shop will work in the game, stating, Based Basically, the gameplay loop in general is that you go out into the world, which also includes these magical worlds. You gather ingredients by various means, including combat, and then you come back to your castle. You go into the kitchen and make chocolates, and then when the chocolates are ready, you bring them into the shop. I think the core of the game is actually gathering ingredients. That's the biggest part of the game. The shop is a little more passive, but the idea is you can run the shop yourself until you start getting help from the ghosts, so you can automate all of that. And then you're just giving the shop chocolates and designing the shop. There There'll be a lot of features in the shop. For example, you might get a hot cocoa bar or something, and then customers can now do that. And then there'll be a certain kind of sim element, like a game like Roller Coaster Tycoon, or something where the customers have certain needs and desires. And then if those desires are met and they're satisfied, then your rating of your shop might start going up, which attracts more customers, and there's kind of a loop there. And then I want to add a lot of different fun things, like, you know, there's the weekly chocolate news, and they might be like, strawberry bonbons are hot right now, so you might want to start focusing on making those this week and then customers are going wild for those. And then it's like, oh, no one wants those anymore. They're totally old hats. So then you kind of have to adapt to the whims of the market. He states that his development process has changed a lot since making Stardew Valley. With Stardew, I was very naive about everything. I did a lot of things that created a bunch of extra work for myself, needless extra work. One example that comes to mind is the event cutscenes. The system for making those in Stardew was so cumbersome. It's just this ugly XML file with this huge string delineated by slashes for all the different commands. At the core, I'm still doing a similar approach for Haunted Chocolatier, but the way it's organized is much more approachable for me and for modders. I think it'll just be better overall and make it way easier to create cutscenes. That'll reduce the time it takes me to do that by 10 times. That probably just means I'll add more stuff to the game. Not that it'll come out faster, but the things I've learned with experience mean I could do this a little bit better this time around. When asked if there's anything in particular that he's excited to see players' reactions to in Haunted Chocolatier, he said, for one, I want to show a different side of what I do. In some ways, making games and art is just a way for me to connect to people or for them to understand me. I want people to understand my ideas, my thoughts, who I am. I feel like Stardew Valley is partway there, but it's not even close to the whole picture. There's a lot more I need to express, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm also just looking forward to having a whole new cast of characters for people to meet and fall in love with. I think it'll be really fun to see how people react to all of that. The interview ends with Concerned Ape saying, Haunted Chocolatier feels a little more personal to me, actually, because it's not really based on or inspired by any particular thing that I played as a kid. It's just me coming up with an idea and doing it. And I think every game I make will be one aspect or one side of who I am. 
but maybe not the whole picture. I found this interview incredibly interesting, and it makes me all the more excited for what's to come with Haunted Chocolates here. I really believe that Concerned Ape is going to reinvent the cozy genre and give us something we never knew we needed. There are so many other cozy farming sims out there nowadays trying to recreate the wild success that Stardew Valley achieved, but no one has been able to truly recapture that feeling that Stardew Valley gives to so many people. The farming sim market has become so oversaturated that it honestly feels overwhelming. There are so many new cozy farming games that come out every single month that there isn't even enough time to play them all and genuinely get to know these games on a deeper level. And half the time there's no passion behind these farming games, they just kind of want to pop them out and get our money. The genre needs innovation, and I strongly believe that Concerned Ape is going to give us just that with Haunted Chocolates here. He could easily just make Stardew Valley 2 and call it a day. He knows the formula and he knows it would perform well, but he's not doing that. He knows that he needs to do something new and unique to make an impact. And I have a very strong feeling that Haunted Chocolatier is going to be so important to the cozy genre, just like Stardew Valley is, but in a very different way. Theorizing and speculating about new updates for games is one of my favorite things to do. It's so fun to talk to you guys about all of the possibilities that could happen with a new game, especially when it's a game that we're all so excited about. All of the theories that we will be discussing today were found in the Haunted Chocolatier subreddit and also my noggin. I've been saving theories that I find interesting for a little while now, and I just wanted to kind of go through them and have a little bit of fun theorizing with you guys. Some theories may be a little more far-fetched than others, but hey, it's all part of the fun, right? Let's start off with some fan theories from the Haunted Chocolatier subreddit before we get into the real juicy stuff. This post by Mega416 says, what other features do you think the game will have? So in that Screen Rant interview, Concerned Dave confirmed that there will be a hot cocoa bar and trending items. What other things like those do you think he'll put in? I'm guessing a chocolate fondue fountain. It won't make you any money directly, but it will increase reputation and publicity and draw in more customers. It would require crafting a few bars worth of chocolate and some fruits, cookies, and other miscellaneous things you could dip. I definitely agree that there's going to be a chocolate fountain somewhere. I mean, it would kind of be a crime if there wasn't a chocolate fountain in Haunted Chocolatier, right? Some other people left some comments of some other special chocolates we might see in the replies. Something analogous to the Easter Bunny and probably sharing the Egg Hunt Festival with Stardew Valley. Maybe some kind of chocolate bar item that, when eaten for stamina, has a small chance of containing a golden ticket like Willy Wonka. Chocolate fishing with small marshmallows as bait. For the trending chocolates idea, they could have something similar to the Stardew Valley Fair and just once or twice a year, people come from all over to try your fabulous chocolates. And you get a notice about a week before with something like, seems like cherries and caramel have been really popular lately. So keep that in mind when preparing for the chocolate fair. So you can make a lot of chocolates with one or both of those ingredients and they'd sell for more. Another post by a deleted user asks, what aspects of the game do you think will be similar to Stardew Valley? And will they be improved or potentially worsened? And someone in the reply says, I can't think of an aspect that would get worse. He's building on the skills he learned from doing the last game, and he has soul creative power. It will be exactly what he is happy with. The game seems more combat focused, so I sure hope the combat will improve. I think the art style will remain consistent, if not a bit more polished. Clearly, the game will be reoriented from production to combat. The combat looks super nice compared to Stardew, and it's clear that it'll be more engaging and interesting. The town and general explorable area seems a lot more vast and detailed. I'm hoping for more romanceable characters like Krobus. What if everyone had dual sides and transformed from humans into to monsters during certain times or situations. This post by Bubblegum8466 says, I hope Mr. Key makes a return. I don't know, he's so mysterious and has always been a very odd character. I would like to see more of him. And I wholeheartedly agree. I honestly think Mr. Key would make a great recurring character for all the future games that Concerned Ape makes. He's just such a mysterious and almost godlike character that it would make perfect sense for him to just kind of be everywhere, and it would be a great way to keep the Concerned Ape Extended Universe connected. Mr. Key could literally be everything everywhere all at once. Aside from Mr. Key, I would also love to see other characters make a return as well. We talked earlier about how Haunted Chocolatier is going to take place over the water on docks. It would be so cool to see maybe Willy pull up on the docks with his boat, or the traveling merchant in her boat that she uses for the night market with her floating little piggy, or even someone silly like the hat mouse would be so cool to see. This next post by Chatty Bird Forever simply asks, 
What are your wishes for Haunted Chocolatier? I'm hoping for more spouses. I don't know if the current unnamed town in Haunted Chocolatier is going to be any bigger than Pelican Town from Stardew Valley, but more characters are always so nice to have, especially if you can marry them. I would appreciate an increase of 12 spouses to maybe 18, and I would especially appreciate some magical marriage candidates like fairies or vampires. I think it would be super interesting to see Haunted Chocolatier put its own spin on Stardew Valley's romances by being more open to supernatural candidates. We saw earlier that Concerned Ape confirmed that he's looking to expand upon relationships in this new game. Having supernatural bachelors and bachelorettes would be a great way to enhance the romance aspect of the game, and would also be very fitting with the Haunted Chocolatier vibe and aesthetic. The same user also stated that they would like to see challenging bosses. Since Haunted Chocolatier is definitely more action-oriented, and with one boss already confirmed, I'm excited to see the full roster of them. I just hope they put up a good fight though, because I will be disappointed if they are easy. On the opposite side of that, I hope that if there are super hard boss battles, that there's at least a difficulty meter to cater to different players' playstyles. Because to me, personally, I don't enjoy boss battles that are too difficult. I get frustrated super easy by that kind of stuff. And I know there's others out there like me too who don't enjoy combat that's too intense. So I think a great way to solve that divide is by simply adding a difficulty meter, which we are seeing more and more in cozy games that feature combat. This next post is a little bit juicy. User Daspinek posted, on the hauntedchocolatier.net website, a secret password protected page can be found. This can be done by adding backslash secret to the website's name. It directs you to a page that looks like this. Typing backslash se or backslash secret p or any portion of the extension also leads you to this page. However, typing just anything will lead you to a page that looks different, meaning this is likely intentional. I'm not sure if this page really has anything on it or if the password even exists, but I figured it may be worth sharing in case anyone is interested. Maybe this isn't even intended for us to see, but if it is, there could potentially be some pretty cool stuff on this page. In the replies, one person said, it's a standard password protected WordPress page that likely has some previews of the game that aren't ready for public yet. We don't know for sure if this page has any valuable information about Haunted Chocolatier behind it, or if it's even something that he wants the community to figure out and solve, but I can't help but wonder what kind of information might be locked away behind a few characters. My inner nosy self is dying to know. But Concerned Ape has never referenced this page to the public, so it could be something that he never even intended for us to see. So if that's the case, we have to respect that as well. And now, let's go back to those five images that we briefly touched on earlier. I have a lot of thoughts about each one of these, so let's just get into it. This image has sparked a ton of theories among fans. Almost immediately, fans noticed the striking similarities between the old man in this photo and our grandfather in Stardew Valley. One fan by the username of Startup with Mads stated, okay, hear me out. Haunted Chocolatier is synchronous with Stardew Valley. Grandpa gives one grandchild the farm and the other the chocolate shop. Grandpa is a multi-industry mogul. The Stardew Valley character we all play has a sibling in another town running another family business. There's another theory that this old man could be old Rasmodius, aka the wizard in Stardew Valley, which is definitely an interesting theory. Maybe he couldn't take seeing his supposed daughter Abigail and his ex situationship with Caroline and just left town to live on the docks in whatever town Haunted Chocolatier takes place in. And another thing that players have taken note of is the use of the three question marks in the old man's name slot. This is of significance because in a tweet about the Stardew Valley 1.6 update, where Concerned Ape lists new features coming in the update, the last thing on his list is three question marks. I personally don't think that there's any correlation here, and it's probably just a silly little coincidence, but you know what they say. There is no such thing as a coincidence. This next image is what looks to be someone's house that also acts as a shop. If you take a look at the left side of the house, you can see a ton of fruit stored in crates. I think it's safe to infer that we may be able to buy different fruits from whoever runs this shop. If you remember from that Screen Rant interview with Concerned Ape, he mentioned strawberry bonbons specifically. These little pink things could very well be strawberries, and these bananas could be for chocolate-covered bananas. Also, I don't know what this little fella is, but I like him a lot, and I would like one in my house. If you take a look at the right side of this house, you can see a bedroom. In this bedroom, we can see a few picture frames on the wall. Two of five of those frames are portraits of people. These could very well be pictures of NPCs that we will see in town that are possibly related to the NPC that runs this shop. 
top. Up next, we have a screenshot that is a little bit familiar if you've been paying close attention to Haunted Chocolatier's development. This looks very similar to some footage from the original announcement trailer. I don't really have much to say on this image that I haven't already said in my first Haunted Chocolatier deep dive video. We can see a slightly altered version of the Stardew Valley slime, a new bush looking monster getting shot at by the player with a bow and arrow, what looks to be salmonberry bushes making a return, some hyacinth type bushes, fiber, trees, and large tree stumps. You can really see how much Concerned Ape's art style has improved since Stardew Valley. The scenery looks so familiar to Stardew Valley, but also so new at the same time. It's just so beautifully done. But yeah, if you have any theories about this specific photo, please let me know in the comments. Moving on, we can see a gorgeous image of what looks to be a town square area with a large water fountain in the center featuring three golden mermaid sculptures. These mermaids look just like the mermaids in Stardew Valley. And with Haunted Chocolatier taking place over water on docks, it's entirely possible that mermaids could play a bigger role in Haunted Chocolatier. Maybe they will lure us over to them like a siren and ask us to do quests for them for rewards from the sea that we can sell for profit or maybe even use for recipes. This last image is the most interesting one to me. We can see a library room filled with a huge wall of books and also books scattered all over the desks and floor. And if you remember from this screenshot, we see a seemingly ill and or dying man in a bed with books scattered everywhere. My theory is that this room is the old man's library, and we have to solve the mystery of the town through these books by completing bundles for the mysterious old man's dying wish. And maybe after we complete a bundle, it opens up and reveals a secret door to another library room with more bundles. Of course, let me know your guys' theories in the comments for all of these pictures and everything else we've discussed. I will for sure be in there reading all of them. And that, my friend, is all of the new information that we have about Haunted Chocolatier as of recording this video. But before you go, I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be start doing these Haunted Chocolatier deep dives every single October until the game releases. Also, I think it's important to reiterate and remind some fans that we need to let Concerned Dave take his time with Haunted Chocolatier. The game will be much better off that way. I think some fans need a reminder that Concerned Ape is a lone developer. There is no team behind him. Concerned Ape, is the team. And I honestly wouldn't have it any other way. Stardew Valley took him over four years to create and Haunted Chocolatier will probably take the same or even longer. He has a very specific vision and he's the only one who knows how to execute it properly. I trust that Haunted Chocolatier will be an amazing game and I'm so thankful to be alive at the same time as Concerned Ape and his games. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.